Welcome everybody. This is the first part of our tutorial on setting up your home base web server. Uh, what we're going to be doing is setting up a home base web server uh, with the machine that we have here. You just be able to serve up you know, web pages uh, if we want to stream movies and music across our local network. We'll be able to do that as well. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty basic machine. Uh, you can use just about any machine you got around the house, uh, if you have, uh, you're going to want to at least make sure that it meets the minimum system requirements of the operating system that you decide to install. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to use Ubuntu. Excuse me, Ubuntu. I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly for everybody out there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, on the pronunciation. Uh, I, I believe I got it correct. Uh, this here is an Intel Q6600 quad core with the ASUS P5Q Pro motherboard. Uh, it's got six gigs of memory in it, uh, an XFX 9800 GT video card, which really isn't essential uh, in a server setup uh, as we're gonna be going headless with this system, meaning we'll uh, do everything remotely. We'll use PuTTY to telnet into the system and enter all of our commands that way from another machine. Uh, so we actually won't even need a keyboard or mouse hooked to this uh, machine. Uh, so we won't need a keyboard, mouse, video card, or sound card. The only point uh, in which we'll need those, um, and the only things we'll actually need is keyboard, mouse, and video card is during the install and setup process of the server. After that, we won't need the video card, keyboard, or mouse, unless at some point we need to actually get on the physical machine itself and, and do something to it. Uh, so, <clears throat> Uh, an XFX 9800 GT. It is a bit of an older video card, but uh, still a very good card. Uh, it's a bit of overkill for a server machine. Uh, really isn't essential. So if you have uh, a video card in your system um, or built onto the motherboard, well, that's fine too. Uh, you know, this machine here will actually probably just leave the video card in it uh, as you know, we won't need it for anything else. So in case we do need to come back later and, and actually get onto the system itself and make some changes or we can't make those changes uh, you know, remotely, then you know, we'll want to go ahead and leave that in. Uh, the other thing you want to consider is a networking card. This, this motherboard and this machine has a, a gigabyte LAN. It's an Atheros uh, gigabyte networking card. Uh, if you have a gigabyte network uh, at your house, you'll want to uh, you know, want to utilize that and have a gigabyte LAN in, in the system. Uh, if you have a 10100 base LAN card, that's okay. Um, the only thing that you might uh, might want to you know consider is up upgrading that if you decide to stream movies and music to multiple machines throughout your network uh, to compensate for the bandwidth usage uh, to kind of keep up with all that. Uh, we have two hard drives installed in this system. One we'll use for our operating system. Uh, the other we'll use as a backup. We'll back up all of our files from our operating system that we, uh, you know, we want to keep backed up. That way, in case something happens to the one drive, we'll have those files backed up on the other drive. Uh, later on in the tutorial, maybe we'll get into setting up another machine and use it entirely for backups. Uh, so everything from our other ser from this server machine will be backed up to the other machine. Uh, as for right now, we have two drives installed in here and we'll just go ahead and use those. Uh, one for the operating system and like I said, one for the backups. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you're going to want to make sure you have a CD-ROM drive installed uh, or either an internal or an external drive in your system so you can uh, install the operating system. Uh, you can also use a thumb drive. Um, I do believe there's a downloadable version uh, of Ubuntu. Uh, that you can put on a thumb drive and install it that way. Uh, other than that, uh, I believe I've covered everything. Uh, so I suppose we'll go ahead and get started with it and get started with the install. Uh, we'll go ahead and hook this bad boy up and start installing our operating system, our web server. And uh, that should take care of it. So we'll see you in part two. All right. Thank you.